In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create bouncing materials in UEFN. So to start off, you want to come down to your content drawer and you want to open up the material that you want to move up and down. You're going to double click on it. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to right click and you're going to look up material function call and place that down. It's going to come up as unspecified function, but all you got to do is come to the left and look up float and it should be make float three. Then connect result to world position offset. You're going to right click again and look up multiply and place it down to the left of make float. Then you're going to right click and look up constant, place it down. You're going to right click on the constant and convert to parameter. And we're going to call it moving side Z. Once this is placed down, connect this to multiply B and connect multiply to Z. Next, you're going to right click again and look up sign, place that down. You're going to add another multiply, this one right here. And then you're also going to add a time. And for the last thing, you're going to add another constant. Now, when all four of these are placed down, connect the sign to A, connect the multiply to sign, connect the time to A, and connect this constant to multiply B. Lastly, change this value to one, and also change the moving side value to one as well. Once you've done that, you've completed the material, come up to the top left and make sure to apply it, and save at the bottom right. Now you can go back to your world, Put down a plane, rotate it, bring it up so you can see it. And then you can just simply place down your material and now you can see it is moving up and down. Now it's actually moving a bit fast up and down. So all you gotta do is just go back to your material and you can change this. This is the time it takes to go up and down. So if we do 0.5 and save it, we can apply it. And you can see it now goes slower up and down. Now, if you want the material to go further up and then back down to its original spot, go back to the material again, and you just got to change the moving side Z. So we'll change it to 10. We'll save that. We'll apply it, sorry. And we'll save. Let me leave it. Now you can see it's moving further up and back down to its original spot. So this value right here is the pace of how fast it's going. And then this moving side Z is how far up and down you want it to go. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what other tutorials you'd like next. And please go down in the description and join my Discord. It'd be really appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one.